Hey folks, welcome once again to another episode of Swill and Grog's wonderful world of beer here in beautiful Toowoomba, Queensland, Australia. Now, uh, this time around, we're uh, doing yet another revisit of a uh, brew that I uh, haven't visited since uh, 2012. Over seven years ago, in fact, I think it was uh, in April 2012 that I uh, reviewed this lovely brew, which comes from the uh, fatherland. It's uh, Palana's Hefeweiss Beer Dunkel, which uh, comes in at 5.3% alcohol by volume. And uh, what I have in my hand is a nicely chilled 500ml bottle. Um, I think, uh, yeah, that was the same back in uh, 2012. I reviewed it in the 500ml uh, bottle. But uh, as you can probably see, the uh, artwork has changed somewhat in that time, as it does seven years down the track. Anyway, um, let's crack off the uh, cap. And uh, I'll pour it out into this lovely Spiegelau wheat beer glass. Okay. Now I do expect I'll get a lot of head on this, as you do with uh, Hefeweizens. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Have a look at that, folks. Yeah. Wow. More than, uh, yeah, five fingers of, um, yeah, beige head there. Wow. Yeah, very frothy and uh, creamy looking. Now, um, as for the appearance, well, it's a very uh, hazy copper color. Hmm, or caramel, you could say. Hmm, does look uh, quite enticing. I'm quite fond of this uh, style, actually. So, uh, let's move on to the aroma. See uh, how it smells in uh, 2019. All right, well, uh, yeah, definitely some wheat there. There's, uh, you know, a hint of banana, a little bit of clove, you know, some caramel. Yeah, it smells rather enticing. So, uh, on that note, folks, um, yeah, I think it's time to dive into this one. Cheers to you all. Mm. Wow. Well, the taste really does follow the nose. Um, yeah, very malt forward. You know, you're getting those you know, wheat malts there. Nice hit of, uh, you know, caramel, nice hit of bread. Yeah, the banana and clove taste lingers in the palate. There's really no bitterness to speak of with this brew, but uh, yeah, it goes down smooth. It's got a lovely velvety sort of uh, feel to it. Wow, it's a real treat actually. Now, as for the body, it's somewhere between medium and full, leaning towards medium. Uh, it's holding that taste profile. Just a lot of weedy goodness coming through. You know, it's very smooth. And uh, yeah, it, it certainly refreshes, um, even on a you know hot spring day uh, such as today. Yeah, although I've always said that to me, this is more like a winter beer. But, you know, a lot of people would probably, like, disagree. But I'm certainly enjoying it. And, um, yeah, it's one that I would have to highly recommend to you all. Although it has become a little hard to procure in Australia. Yeah, I had to actually uh, order this, um, like, uh, through Dan Murphy's website. Uh, it's one that's only available uh, from them, like, uh, online. Yeah, it's not one that they carry in store, but um, yeah, I did uh, get free delivery and a, I believe a $20 discount uh, on the case, which uh, 
yeah, it was, um, yeah, most appreciated, I must say. So uh, I'll be certainly uh, savouring these uh, lovely bottles. Hmm. All right, so, uh, yeah, is it something that uh, you could uh, session? Well, yeah, 5.3%. You could have a few of these and feel quite pleasantly toasted, as I like to say. It's got a really high drinkability. Very, very tasty. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you're a fan of this style, it's, uh, yeah, definitely one of the, um, the better Dunkelweizens. Mm. Yeah. All right, well, uh, probably time for me to have one last gulp of this and uh, give it a score for 2019. Mm. It's just beautiful, heavenly almost. <laughs> well, uh, all in all, it's a very solid uh, Dunkelweizen or Hefeweiss beer Dunkel. Yeah, it's made by a brewery that um, I've just come to love. So, uh, I think for uh, 2019, I would have to give this brew a uh, solid 10 out of 10. So, uh, there you go, folks. A 10 out of 10 for uh, Palana uh, Hefeweiss Beer Dunkel for uh, 2019. I think in 2012, I gave it 9.5. So, uh, <laughs> there you go, folks. Mm, it's, um, yeah, become better over time. Mm. All right, well, um, yeah, as you can imagine, I'm just uh, going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this, and uh, I'll see you all in uh, the next review. But uh, until then, fare thee well, all. Oh.